Now, frustrations are mounting in the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy due to a backlog of more than 2,500 applications for mining rights. The applications were received during this current financial year, that's 2023-2024. This information was revealed by the Minister, Gwede Mantashi, in Parliament last year in a response to a question by an IFP MP. At the same time, there are growing calls for artisanal mining licenses to be issued to South Africans living in mining communities. Let's speak now to the department's Deputy Director General, Siriso Makubela, who's joining us on Zoom. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Makubela. Thank you for joining us on today, uh, this afternoon. Can we start broadly first by you outlining for us why has there been such a delay in Minister Gwede Mantashe's response to the question by the IFP MP on December the 8th last year? He said more than 2,500 applications for mining rights or permits uh, were received, but none of them at that time had been processed. What's the reason for the delay? Okay, no, thank you very much, uh, Raden, for the opportunity. And um, I would also want to greet the viewership of ENCA. Let me first by start by saying that there's been a misunderstanding. The question was very specific, the question asked to the minister. It said how many applications were received and uh, the minister responded to that. But then the question went further to say how many were successful, not how many were processed. How many were successful? And then the response was none were successful. And I'd like to explain the none. 